you look for the positives and the silver lining and everything in, in moments like these. But um, you know, I'm hurting right now as the guys are, and I'm sure I'll reflect on that at some point over the next several days. Um, but for right now, I, I want to remember how I feel because I think it'll motivate me. And, and the, the pain and, and the frustration that we're all experiencing right now, I think um, the guys will feel that in a very normal fashion and, and digest it on their own. But um, I want them to properly um, work through that. I don't want them to dismiss the feeling and, and kind of bury it in the back of their mind. Um, and I, I think they will. And I, and I know collectively as a group, we're going to look back on this year as one that was very productive. Um, and when that happens, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I want to start to think positive thoughts, but I can't quite get there yet. And I'm not going to force it. I want to, I want to have it be a natural process. Hey, Jory, walk us through, walk us through the uh, sixth inning. Was it more trying to get one more inning out of Zach versus trying to do a double switch? Uh, no, I just Zach caught a little tailwind there. I think he was starting to make some pitches. I could just tell by the body language that things were going um, things were going good. We just wanted one more batter. It was going to be Barnes, and then we we're going to start to match up and um, you know bridge it to Archie. And that that was my mindset. So we just needed that one inning <clears throat> to um, to get through. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. I thought Zach did a good job. He handled Barnes um, fairly well for the majority of of the night. And uh, made a mistake, and Barnes took advantage of it. What about uh, Zach bouncing back? I mean, he had a rough two first two innings, but then he managed to ride the ship to try and keep you guys in the game. Yeah, he he did a good job in in several situations. You know, there's a lot of damage control early on. Um, he kept this kept it at a one run game, and um, no, he he's our guy. He was our, he was our ace all year long, and I felt like he deserved that opportunity. Once I saw the. Um, the stuff started to get a little crisper, and there was a little bit of swing and miss with the slider. So there was a lot of positives for me um, for this outing for Zach, uh, and, and throwing that one extra batter in the six made a lot of sense. Uh, Tori, uh, I know you, you don't. You said you don't want to really look back yet, but at the beginning of the season, one of the refrains you had was putting a first brick in the wall of this foundation here. Right. And right. Uh, I, I remember that fondly. Right. And it just seems to me that regardless of the pain you feel today, yeah. you know, you've put many bricks in the wall and that this is a very strong foundation moving forward uh, to right. the future. Right. Plus you can use the feeling that you have tonight mm -hmm. as a motivating force to doing better next year. Yeah, Bear, I think you nailed it. You're exactly right. And um, you know, I had a quick second with the, with the gang and, and told them basically that, that, that we have laid a lot of good bricks down in our foundation. And uh, this organization is, is in good hands with, with, uh, with ownership and, and the front office. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of successful years in the future. Um, and it doesn't happen by accident. You have to build that foundation. And that's something that we're doing every single day here. So. We, we kind of worked through the heavy lifting phase. We, we advanced to the playoffs this year. We're very proud of that. Um, but, you know, my mindset is we haven't quite accomplished what we need to as an organization. But um, my promise is to this, this team, this organization, this town, city, state, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work as tirelessly as I possibly can uh, until we, we turn the page and, and win a world championship here. Uh, Tori, uh, you had difficulty getting to Darvish today. Uh, mm -hmm. What made it tough, and what, is there any difference from last time you faced him in August? Uh, fairly similar with with uh, with the results. I know uh, he he drove up pitch count, his pitch count. I think he gave up three or four runs in in that outing, and maybe made some mistakes. But uh, he held a very offensive team in check on that day, and he did a good job of that again today. He switched up his game plan a little bit and deserves a lot of credit because um, he was throwing a lot more fastballs than and, and to, to some key batters in some key situations than we maybe had thought. But he stood on his stuff and, and executed with a three-pitch mix, and he's got exceptional stuff, and he made it very tough on us tonight. Tori, do you have any uh, clarity on why Goldie kind of struggled down the stretch and was kind of up and down during this series? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I know that um, he, 
he's equipped to go out every single night and, and impact the ball, and he's always feeling like, like he will. And, yeah, I know the numbers weren't exactly what, uh, what he wanted. I just think he, um, he was you know, trying, maybe trying too hard. I don't know. You might have to ask him exactly what was going on. But the swings were good, uh, just didn't have great results. And he had some big home runs for us in, in big moments. Uh, but you expect so much from, from Paul because he is uh, the face of the Arizona Diamondbacks. And when you walk through a little um, situation like he did, it, it doesn't go unnoticed. Everybody pays attention to him. And, uh, but that, that's his responsibility, and, and um, it comes with the territory. I know that he's going to be just fine uh, moving forward, though. Can you reflect a little bit about what you learned in your first year as a manager? Um, it's probably hard for me to, to hit it right on the head. Um, but I learned that this, this is a great game. This is probably uh, um, the greatest time in my life um, as far as managing a baseball team. Um, and uh, you know there comes a, there come there's responsibility that comes with, with my with my job that that I enjoy and uh, I'm committed to this process. I learned through the course of the year that, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to stop until things things are moving in a great direction year after year after year in this organization as one of world championships. Second row to the right. Does this result you pin on the Dodgers being good versus? You guys just not playing to the expectations that you set. Yeah, I don't think the Dodgers played exceptionally well. I, I've seen them play better. They had a great streak in the middle of the season, um, but they played good enough to win, and, and uh, they they deserved to win this series. So you know, my congratulations to that organization. Um, but we didn't play our our type of baseball um, for the past three games, and I think everybody that followed us noticed that we didn't uh, we didn't pitch particularly well. Uh, at times, I think there were spurts of good starting starting pitching. Um, I think maybe uh, offensively we had a little rut. This isn't the time of the year where you wanna you wanna just be average offensively. And um, I feel like at times we were gonna get our engine started, but we never could. So I think it was more product of us not playing well and getting beat by a team that played uh, played very sufficiently. Tori, you know David's got so much uh, energy and he brings that to you guys, especially since you put him in the leadoff spot. Do you think he put too much pressure on himself to try and get himself and the team going? I, I wouldn't say so. You know, maybe maybe the first night in L.A. I noticed the guys were um, were trying a little too hard. And once once we got into the flow of the game and started to score some runs, I think everybody slowly relaxed. I could see some um, expressions change and we got into a good rhythm. Uh, in David's case, I feel like he's just, he's an exceptional hitter. Um, he plays with a ton of energy and it wasn't a, wasn't a great series for the entire team offensively or yeah, the, the entire, entire group offensively, uh, for this entire series. So I'm not going to pinpoint it on any one person. I think that everybody came ready to play. They laid it out there all series long. Um, you know, what I want to say to everybody that's listening is we gave it all we had and, uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of these guys, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold it on one guy um, in this situation.